there's something to be said about the fun factor of a well-designed hard charging hardtail. Old familiar trails soon become a lot more fun than you remember, line choices are way more rewarding and you soon start to question if you really need rear suspension. G'day legends, Jono here and today I'm at Harcourt North, my local MTB trail centre to give you an overview and a long term review of my custom frame up 2020 Ragley Ember. So, let's get into it. Ragley designed the Mbop to be a hardtail for riders who really wanted to push the imaginary line that most people draw for hardtail capabilities. With a frame designed around 150 mils of travel and a stupidly slack head tube angle, it's definitely worth a look. The saying, if it's not broke, why fix it is what definitely comes to mind here. As geometry wise, the Mbop's frame hasn't been changed since its 2019 release. Even on the new frame, you still find it has the extremely slack 63.75 degree head angle, a sweet 425mm chainstay length and pretty modern reach numbers. With the large having 460mm of reach, there's nothing progressive here but it feels perfect to me. For those who don't know, the Mbop shares the same geometry as its steel alter ego the Ragley Blue Pick. So if Chromo sounds like your kind of cake, then you might want to look at that instead. The rear is a 12 by 148 mm through axle, making aftermarket wheel choice an easy process, and the frame is designed around 27 and a half wheels, with tire clearance stating 2.6, but I've seen some 2.8s in there on other riders' builds. Compared to the Common Cell Meta HT and the Nuke Proof Scout 270, the Ragley Mbop is slacker, longer, and more of a party bike than its competition. If you're planning on racing enduro on a hardtail, I think the Mbop might be what you're looking for. Like I mentioned earlier, this was a frame-up build, so it will differ from the pre-built options you'll find from Ragley themselves. With that said, I should probably mention what I've thrown on here. Starting with the cockpit, the complete bike comes with an in-house brand 780mm wide with a 25mm rise handlebar. However, for my preference, I've got a KW edition of the PNW range handlebar, which I've cut down to 760 and I've got a shorter, dirty 35mm copperhead stem. 